Welcome back to the Backyard Homesteader. I'm Priscilla. That's Ritzy. <laughs> I'm back from Alabama 11 days and it's time to harvest. So I got my bucket. Let's go do it. Okay, so it's probably not the ideal time to be out harvesting, but it's got to be done. There is so much fruit. I'm telling you, let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna set you up right here because I've got some large tomatoes all over the place and I gotta get them <laughs> before the bugs do. I did find one of them that actually had some damage on the backside. So let's just set up right now. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna try to keep you in the lens so let's let's give this a go shall we okay don't fall over come on now <laughs> my camera's wanting to fall over oh well okay let's see okay so this one is blushing it's not completely done but I'm going to go ahead and take it before the bugs do it's a little cracked but all in all very nice You got one buried way down here. Let me see if I can get to it without damaging it. Okay. Woo, look at this one. Oh, it's cracked right there. But it, it just looked like it split, so I think we'll be all right. Oh, got one down here. What? I'm pretty happy. Oh my gosh, look at all these. <laughs> it's so crazy, you can't see them. And I hope I can get to them. Let's see here. Um, there's another one. This is actually, is this Cherokee purple? Yes, these are all Cherokee purple. So that's why they have that color to them. And honestly, before the shade cloth, uh, they weren't looking so happy. So I'm pleased. I am pleased. Good night. Look at all this. Oh my goodness. It is a challenge getting to them, let me tell you. Come on. Come on. Goodness. There's another one. Poking down here. Gotta make room for new fruit. This is by far the best season I've had. Now, see, this one's split too, but I, I still think we'll be good. There's no bugs in there. All right, let's see. Um, one more hiding down there. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to work on securing these a little better. Oh, here's another one. Fresh one down there that's not blushed yet. Very nice. Okay, ooh, we got a big one over there. Let's see, can you see down here? I'm gonna have to, let's see, let me take it down a little bit. There we go. Whoops, come on now. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to get this so I can capture all of this. Okay, so I cannot believe this. I had, This is the first successful year in large tomatoes and I have so much abundance. Look at this one. This is so perfect. Oh my gosh, Rebecca Allen. There's another one, it's ready. Let's see. There's one. <laughs> you see that? These are so gorgeous. Oh my 
goodness. Okay, there's one way back there. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get to it. Oh my gosh. Let's see what I can do here. Holy moly, and it's huge. It's not even gonna fit through the, oh, good stuff. Oh my gosh, it's massive. Come on now. Come on. Oh my God, look at this thing. It's massive. That thing is so heavy. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see. I see some in the back over there. That one's got a couple of days. We've got some blushing. Oh my gosh, we still have more fruit coming, guys. This is amazing. Oh, yeah, we got a couple back there. Can you see them? Yeah, there they are. Let me see if I can get to them. Whew. Let's see, let's see. Come on. This one's a little split, but that's okay. Ooh, that one's got a little nastiness going on there. Oh my goodness, we've got two down here. Let's see. Wow. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Look at that. Gorgeous. All right, let's see. Another one, beautiful. Got a couple back there still. All right, let's see here. One. Oh, come on. Two. Ah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. Okay. See, there's one over here. Let's get you. Can you see that one? Nice. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Some of these are just blushing over here. Like, there's some blushing down there. Blushing right there. Blushing down there. But we got all this harvest, so I don't need to cut anything that isn't ready. Oh gosh, I see one over there. I missed that when I was over there. Okay, let's see if I can get to it. Let's see, let's see. It was hidden. Goodness. I know you guys are sick of hearing me say that, but I'm so excited. Okay, so that's that for that tree. Now, this one, remember, this is my um, Cherokee purple. Hold on, I'm sorry, getting the camera set. That blistered on the top, you can see that. So let's go ahead and clip those off. Um, I think we should probably be able to snip off the tops where they blistered. I think so. All right. Okay. So I think that's it for the big tomato. Okay. <laughs> Lost my camera. Okay. Yeah, that's it for the big tomatoes. So check this out. This is what we have so far. <laughs> Look at all these tomatoes. Guys, this is like, this is some serious weight. So I want to do the cherry tomatoes. So let me go get another bucket. Let's go put this down and go get another bucket for the cherry tomatoes. Oh gosh, <laughs> this is heavy. What do you think, Chrissy Ru? Oh, I got a great harvest. What do you think? Woo. That's heavy. Wow, look at all that. Look at all of that. So this is my little marker. These are all Cherokee purple and these are Rebecca Allen's. Wow, I'm so pleased. No, no, Ritzy, no whining, no whining. Okay, so. Okay, here we go, let's go. Actually, I may not need the clippers for this, but let's see how far we get. <laughs> 
All right, let's start. I'm not going to do the, um, the little pasty ones on the back side. I'll do those last. So then, let's see, so that's one, two, three. So those three right there, I uh, will come back to those just because they're a different tomato than my others. Okay, so this one is a volunteer volunteer in the bucket and I honestly have no idea what it is so let's just set this up real quick and set you where you can see me harvesting hopefully hopefully you can see oh my goodness come on the camera there we go all right okay so now they're ready, they should come right off. They do, they are. Okay. Can you see me? I hope you can see me. I hope you can see me. Can you see? Ooh, doggy. All right. Again, I have no idea what kind of cherry tomato this is because it's a volunteer. This one's split, we'll leave this one for the birds. Oh, I always leave the split ones for the birds. See these? Some of these should have come off long before now, but I wasn't here. I'm just lucky that I have plants. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's see. Some of these are growing out above the shade cloth. So... Those may end up being for the birds because I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach them, honestly. Ooh, it's toasty. Another one for the birds. Hello. Hey, the way I see it, this is a volunteer. These are all bonus, bonus fruit. And you know what's so crazy? The volunteers, man, they grow. They are, they are, they want to live, man. They totally want to live. Okay, come on. All right, one more over here. Woo, hot out here. It's supposed to be 102 today. So, um, probably not harvesting at the best time, but it's the only way to fit it all in. Okay, so, um, next up is this, um, wrong moon. Can you see it? Yep. Okay. So these are the yellow ones. These are massive this year. It's the only plant I was able to germinate, but it is doing so well. I'm so pleased. And these are yummy. Yummy and sweet. I cannot believe how big they are. Like seriously, like this is like a small, but a regular sized tomato. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, they come in little clusters. So, oh my goodness, unbelievable. And this is all for one plant. This is why a lot of my um, tomato plants were both falling over, even though they had um, been secured a bit. They're just too heavy, just too heavy. Okay. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I know you can't see all these. It's even hard to see them to um, harvest them because they're hiding. Just massive fruit. Like, massive fruit. I'm so amazed. Whew. None of this was ready. Well, the ones on the end were. Those are I'll do last. But none of these were ready. Cool. This is the first year I've... Um, grown this one. This one's called mixed cherry and it's almost like variegated. Let me show you. See, and they don't come off very easy and I know they're ready. Like, what's up with that? I don't know. I don't know. But see these? They're like variegated. Aren't they beautiful? Okay. Let's see, let's see how many of these are ready. 
these almost seem to like to stay on the vine a while. Okay, those don't want to come off. I'm not going to rip them off. This one needs to come. What the heck? Whew. Okay. All right. So I think that's it. Some of these over here, they don't want to come off. So I'm not going to take them right now because that tells me they're not done. They're not ready. Okay. So now we're going to do my Tommy toes. I have two of them. Some more that need to go to the birds. That's fine. My dog, Bobo, he used to pluck. Oh dear. He used to pluck um, the cherry tomatoes right off the plant. These are splitting and I'm not sure why. Darn it. I'm going to have to eat those right away. Because these are like my favorite. I don't know why they're splitting like that. Darn it. Well, shoot. Maybe it's not ready. Okay, split again. I'm going to have to have me a salad of Tommy Toes. Because I will not throw them out. Darn it. That one's for the birds. <sighs> okay, well. Maybe, I don't know. These are fine. Well, no, that one's split too. I don't know why these Tommy Toes are splitting. But that's okay. I'll just have to eat them. I'll just have to eat them. Come on, babies. There we go. Now we've got some that are coming without splitting. Thank goodness. It's like, what the heck? Why don't you want to be picked? I don't get it. Alright, that one's not ready. Okay. Alright. I won't force you. There's plenty. Okay. Wow, this one's getting heavy too. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Let's see if I can get you in here. See what I'm doing. Hopefully you can. You gotta get some shishitos and pepperoncinis also. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay. Hopefully that puts you in a good spot. Wow. Okay, here we go. It is hot. I just pulled down from the morning water and so I had to get out here and get this done because it's only going to get hotter. Okay. Let's see. They've got the hang. I was pulling them out of their socket instead of letting the stem do the work. So it was my fault. It was my fault. Okay. Come on. You want to stay? Okay, I'll let you stay a little longer. No problemo. All right. Yay. Well, at least now I know which ones I'll be eating first, right? Yay. Tommy toes are massive. Massive. Okay, so I'm trying to keep these separated because I don't know what that... That one is over there, that volunteer. And I love my Tommy Toes. So I want to be able to eat my Tommy Toes. Okay, let's see. Sorry about the nose, guys. It's just so hot out here. My nose runs when I'm hot. Does that happen to you or is that just me? This one's split already. We'll give that to the birds. That one's split. Okay, let's see here. See, that's the thing. Some of these are split because they should have been picked already. So, let's see about this. Oopsie. <laughs> Tomato vine up the nose. No, thank you. Let's see. Can get to you successfully. There we go. Nice. Okay, let's see. 
here. You don't want to come. This one's for the birds. So funny. So Ritzy, she was, if she was both, she would be having a field day right now with all these tomatoes that I'm dropping on the ground. Bubbly would just pluck them right off the, right off the vine. It's so hilarious. We're moving on to my honey drop and there are so many of them. I couldn't be happier, I'm telling you right now. This is like, this is amazing. Freaking amazing. These come off very easily. So these will be easy to pick. <laughs> Those are such pieces of joy, let me tell you. They are amazing. Amazing, amazing. Okay, let's see here. Orange honey drop. They are sweet and have such amazing flavor. It's the only plant that germinated this year that stayed alive, I should say. I don't think I had another one. I think this is the only one that made it, honestly. Oh my gosh, it's so hot out here. I had just cooled down from watering. I think I told you that already. That one's got a little hole, but I think it's okay. Oh my goodness. Like, oh my God. I usually snack on these when I, oh, when I water in the morning also. Um, and here I was afraid I was going to come home to a dead garden. And look at all the bounty I'm coming home to. Whew. Abundance, man. Let me tell you what. Fruit for days. I'll probably share this because, you know, I can only eat so many tomatoes at once. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Dang. <laughs> I cannot believe all the growth. are heavy okay let's go over here Whew, get out of that sun even when the shade cloth it's still a little warm hush ritzy brew all right <laughs> can you believe that look at all of those cherry tomatoes oh not unbelievable what a bounty such a bounty and I still have peppers to go <laughs> and strawberries. I don't have as many strawberries, but I do have strawberries. So <laughs> I'm running out of containers, but I think I have another one. I got to go find it. I'll be right back. Okay. This first bunch is Shishito's. So let's go ahead. Hopefully you can see while I do this. I believe you can. There's quite a few in here, which is exciting. This means that I can have blistered shishitos tonight. <laughs> if you've not seen that, I'll see if I can put a video link showing you how I cooked up my shishitos. And maybe I just have to make another one. It's really easy. But sometimes I think it's easier to just show you rather than explain. But of course, you know, once you do it, then of course you figure it out. <laughs> At least that's me. Now I'll be honest with you. Some of these are red and I don't know what happens when they're red. I'm going to research it because I have like, I have a couple right here and I don't want to, I don't want to waste them. So we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. And honestly, these shishitos and pepperoncinis look very similar. So I'm keeping them in separate containers. 
Just making sure I don't miss any. I got a couple little tiny ones. Uh, we'll get this one down here. Okay. Uh, shoot. <laughs> oh, bending down on my knees like that. I don't do as well as I once did. All right, this one's got a few on it as well. Let's get you. There's a little tiny red one. Oh, goodness. I wonder what makes them some smaller than the others. I don't know. Very interesting. Uh, let's see. Got a couple down here getting ready to turn. Get those. These little things hide. <laughs> Make sure you catch them all. All right, let's see. Don't go tiny ones. Only the tiny ones. over here. This is Shishitos. I'm going to go ahead and get these because this is a smaller plant so this may be the biggest they get so the plant gets larger. Some of these I'm going to leave. We got some pepperoncinis over here. So let's see. Oh my goodness! Look at all. Wow. Okay. This is a lot. Oh my goodness. This is a lot. Okay. Here's the pepperoncinis. Hopefully, you can see this well there are a ton of pepperoncinis so these we gotta um, get ready to pickle but I think there may be enough on here to make that happen so let's get them harvested and I'll be right back
Okay, here's the bounty, folks. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you right now, when they were on the plant, I said, you know what, Shishitos, this is Shishitos, and pepperoncinis look exactly the same. I'm gonna do a little research because I have a feeling they are the same. Got some bell peppers, eggplant, just a few strawberries, a ton of different, four different varieties here of cherry tomatoes and two varieties of my slicers. <laughs> Whew, I have to tell you, that is the biggest bounty I've had ever in my garden. And I'm so pleased, so excited and cheers to shade cloth. When you live in triple digits, we're going to be 102 today, 105 tomorrow, and then I believe it starts to get in the 90s after that. Hopefully, this is it for the hot weather. <laughs> Who knows? But I'm just so grateful for this bountiful harvest, and thanks for coming along with me. I appreciate you. Until next time, bye now. Mwah!